Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough and you're welcome Cameron. Let's go through a little bit of dialogue here. That is awesome, so I guess you can complete all four challenges unless you can't capture Ente. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> eh, mm, eh, it's okay I guess. But, well, no, not really. I mean, we're kind of tricked into that fourth one, and yeah, there's that too. So, yeah, definitely agree with that, although the Gorgok Squad called us criminals. <laughs> but they knew what they were doing. Nah, it's alright. Yep, that is true. Just gotta pick yourself up and beat down, well, capture them later, what, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what the heck rangers do in terms of lawfulness. <laughs> it's not like they arrest anyone. <laughs> oh, thank you, I'll take that as a compliment. Kind of. <laughs> hmm. Hmm, yeah, see it was phrase, oh ho, oh ho. And you know, I swear, every time I get back to the ranger base, my styler is all full and I haven't been able to use the services of Desk Lady there. <laughs> mm, anyway, let's take a peek see upstairs, see if there's anything else. Oh, hello there, text message. Mm, uh oh, uh oh, really? Well, hmm, uh, hmm. Uh oh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, that's probably a good idea, so up we go as we were going! <laughs> uh, did you kind of have different dialogue up here? Maybe, maybe not, perhaps, perhaps not. Eh, sure, it's probably gonna take longer than 20 seconds. <laughs> mm. Mm, yeah, we got that. We, yeah, it's the same dialogue as before, so yeah, less than 20 seconds if I click through it thusly. Yes, I am. I'll be back to the ruins to get the stuff and stuff that I need the water Pokemon for a little bit later, and yeah. <laughs> I kind of feel bad for missing it at the time, but you know, I'm going to be going back through the areas later on anyway, so yeah. Mm-hmm. Dusk Factory, what? What's a dusk factory? Hmm. Well, oh, that's that's pretty sneaky. <laughs> All right, let's check out the dusk factory. Yeah, even she doesn't know what that is. <laughs> hmm. Well, oh, I guess that's the reason. But we didn't really get a get an idea of where the dusk factory is, did we? Hmm. Hmm. Eh, I guess yeah. I'll let that works too. Woo! <laughs> okay, so where's that Dusk Factory anyway? Let's see if there's any different dialogue going on. And, you know, the upper floors, they really, I don't think, ever change. <laughs> so I'm not even going to go off to the upper floors, but yeah. Uh, anyway, Dusk Factory is actually over to the right. Um, what the? That is interesting, isn't it? Isn't it? That's actually more like down right type place it is this way i believe yeah past the save points is a save points there to be con like convenient for the yeah this is the, actually the dusk factory <laughs> you remember i said i'd be coming back here later this is apparently the dusk factory you're not very clear about that but i know i need to go here and thus i went here <laughs> so hmm how do we get in? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Maybe you could open that gate. Two digit. No. <laughs> That's a pretty weak password, but okay. Da 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 da. 660, and the gate should open. Oh, he actually pulled it off. Hot how? <laughs> I guess he was right. <laughs> All right, so let's take a peek see over here. Uh, hmm. 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 Ah, poopers, those dang automatic doors always broken down. Got to use the side doors. Oh, there's that door that we could go in, but don't go in there just yet. We've got stuff. <laughs> We've got stuff to get on this side. And wait a second. 
Haven't I captured a Meowth before? Uh, I do blue. Oh, I do believe I have, but I think I need something with sharp claws. Or maybe I'm thinking of something that could break something. Like the Makuhita we've seen on the other side. I kind of forgot, so let's just go on. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, actually, I didn't capture a Voltorb before, so let's capture a Voltorb too. <laughs> they explode, as you can tell, or self-destruct. One of, the, one of the two explosion moves. But for some reason, they can do it in a limited amount of times without actually KOing themselves, unlike the main series of games. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely got the Meowth before, but not the Voltorb. Alright, Makuhita. I never got you before, though, I do believe. Uh, oh, 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 oh. You're just gonna attack my Stalia when you see it? Yes, you will. That is key to defeating you, just by kind of baiting you out and doing a couple smooth circles. Oh, maybe I did get a Makuhita before. Well, I do need a Makuhita inside, I know that for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you stinkers. It's just more of a hindrance than anything, really. <laughs> but yeah, I don't remember if I need the Meowth, though. I just... No, I need the Makuhita. Now, up here is a Growlithe, but there's no way to get to that Growlithe from down here. Let's just put it that way. So... Oh, yep, that's what I need the Meowth for. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, so I needed them both. Because the Makuhita is there to break something. I mean, not not break something, move something aside on the floor just above this. Uh, it's this crate right here. Well, actually, I'll take care of you first. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Is it really now? I mean, you're. Why are we the irritating ones here? Anyway, <laughs> let's see if we can get these bad boys. Hmm. Well, that was easy. <laughs> I <laughs> just stayed in place after the explosion. <laughs> and there we go. Bye-bye. What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> Some of their lines, I swear. Alright, Makuhita, move that crate. Because we have a Pokemon to get underneath, on the other floor that we've seen. Blow and yes. So down we go, we fall, and there we go, that's how you get to the Growlithe. How's it going, fluffy puppy? Shall we... Capture? Yes! First try. Woo! Heck yeah! <laughs> Alrighty, so now we got a little fiery friend, and we can hop down there, according to the arrows. Well, kinda, there's a bunch of arrows there, who knows what they're actually pointing to. <laughs> Maybe it's just saying the whole way out is to follow that path, and yes, I don't know. We're outside? Huh? Huh? What? Who's what who? Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! <laughs> They're back! Now why exactly are they doing this when they don't even know we're here? Like, who are they talking to exactly here? Are they just doing it? For their own enjoyment, are they rehearsing or something in case a ranger pops in they have to do this or something like that? I don't know! <laughs> but all I know is that they're playing their favorite instrument, quote on, well, I should say, instruments slash stylers here. And, uh, yes. <laughs> There's the confetti fanfare of epicness once again. <laughs> And, well, can you explain? Oh, okay, well, let's practice. Good. Good. <laughs> yeah, kind of. they kind of leave you hanging there until I mention that it was practice. <laughs> mm, so, yeah, and there's probably no useless childs around this place anyway, so don't, don't worry. Yeah, wait, you still haven't gone shopping? How is that possible? <laughs> I mean, you just passed through a city with all sorts of... Ah, eh, forget it. Forget it. Hmm... Yeah, yeah, they did. <laughs> anyway, now we can enter the main building of this place. Uh, I'll probably should capture that Magnemite there. Probably a good idea in case of Styler damage. And there we go. I mean, I do have the Voltorb and all, but... Eh, you never know what we'll need. And uh oh, oh no! 
The Pikachu, it's powering the generator! No, how could they do this? It's so cute and cuddly! It's... How? How? Well, basically, they put a Pikachu in the cage and it zaps it and... They, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you get the idea. So we need something with a double cut so we don't have a double cut. So we gotta go into the factory a little bit more and see if we can get something with a double cut. We cannot cross these treadmills with mysterious machines here, which probably are stylers. But what we can do is get ourselves back, 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 Mr. Mime on the other side of the treadmill. How did you get... Anyway, they make invisible walls and you gotta sort of carefully circle them without touching an invisible wall and memorizing where the invisible walls are as you go. Uh, oh, poopers. <laughs> They're just filling up the room with invisible walls. Well, they eventually wear off, but yeah, they aren't really that invisible. You get that flashy thing. And I should not have two of them going on at the same time here. That's that's kind of the sucky thing here. It's, so let's just try one. <laughs> There we go. I don't know if it's an, a reflect barrier, light screen. Ah! They moved away from the. Uh, I mean, he moved away from the other one. I need to circle quicker. And circles. Uh, mm, circles are going to. Uh, mm. <laughs> and this is why I got my electric Pokemon. <laughs> I'm just a little bit too reckless for my own good sometimes. Alright, let's do a Magnemite too, just because... There we go... And the invisible walls should have wore off... Ah! Ah! <laughs> Always release one too early some... Well, sometimes. <laughs> Alright, I got that Mr. Mime like no one's business. Yes. And it just got plain old psychic Poké Assists which levitate Pokémon. And let's just take a peek see around. Nothing too important I see there. Nothing popping out of dead ends I see there. So we can pretty much sneak past the remainder of Mr. Mimes, hopefully. Yes. Oh! Okay, yeah, as you see what there's that whoa! There's a dead end down this way here, yeah. <laughs> and we've also got a barricade of Mr. Mimes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hopefully they'll just stay in place and do an um, invisible wall while I do full circles and... Oh shoot, they did not. That's problematic. Um, well, you're in the corner there. Mm -hmm. Well then. Well then. Wait, uh, mm. <laughs> wait, 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 I got this, yes! That was good, because I could move the stylus along the side of the screen and just sneak attack right between it and the wall. Oh, that's good! That's very good right there! Oh, I just had to touch it. Because <laughs> he overlapped invisible walls while being in place, and yeah. Uh, and it's just a matter of patience with the Mr. Mimes here. There we go. Yeah, see, I was just messing up before because I was just going too quick for my own good and just trying to take too many risks. They aren't that difficult to get. It was just me flubbering all over the place. Well, <laughs> you probably should. You probably should. So now, in this place, we got some confusion waves going on there. We've also got some hypnos to perhaps capture here. Can I, can you like do a little attack here? I don't know. Oh, I guess you could. <laughs> And zappy zap. Ah, very easy. Just as long as you're quick enough. <laughs> Just a little bit of strategy of baiting it out and then, yep, there we go. New entry for the styler. And there's this over here. Hmm, hmm, hmm. And a save point over there. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hello there, Pincer. You wouldn't happen to have that, uh, move that I might need, would you? Would you? It does look like you have some cutting power there. Mmm. 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 Oh, look at that. <laughs> so not only can it cut through a metal fence, it can also cut through a generator cage. Uh-oh. How's it going? <laughs> hmm? Hmm. But, okay, interesting. Yes, yes. Hi, how's, how's it going there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, having a nice, nice stroll up here. <laughs> it was slacking off with slack off. <laughs> well, you kind of were. 
Uh, you, despite what you say, and all right, battle time. I believe this is an optional one, unless you want to get slack off here. Oh, Hoovers, you're actually quicker than you look. <laughs> I was just kind of casually doing circles very slowly, and yeah, very easy, very easy though. <laughs> Woo! And you have a. Yeah, okay, I, I won't. You didn't really cause that much trouble. Just have a nice day up here. <laughs> and up here you can also capture some Wingull if you'd like as well. Maybe some water Poke Assist for fire Pokemon that you'll be able to check out later on. Oh, now we got on the beach. I mean, no, now we got on the bench. No ball. Playing during lunch break. Factory Chief. <laughs> so I guess this is the normal place for peeps to slack off at. And now, let's just take a peek see around these parts here, uh, just to get a full view of the area. There's a Go Rock Squad member down here, which we actually can't pass by. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done this now, because there's a muck, and that's like a mini boss. Uh, well, I should say main boss of the sewers slash waterworks. Yes, well... We'll see how things go, because I guess I could always discharge and or use Poke Assists. Like, say that Mr. Mime, because this is indeed a mini-boss, and yes. Uh, yeah, I'll use the Mr. Mime here. It sounds like a good idea, as long as they're all like right in the center there. There we go, they all levitate, and yeah, the Beldums don't really care all that much for that, but I'm more concerned about the Muck. Eh, hmm. Yeah, because Beldums are steel psychic types. Eh, yeah, well, that didn't quite work out as I was expecting, but as long as I don't touch the muck, like literally touch the muck, I'll be okay. I guess I'll try a discharge. Hopefully they'll all group together. That might be decent enough. Uh, I'll just go for the beldums. Yeah, there we go. And I'll carefully get the muck, because it's looping in circles. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> I got another discharge stored up there, but I think I'm gonna go for another psychic assist here. And levitates. There we go. And let's wait for the poison pool to relax. Oh shoot. Poison pool to relax itself. Well, maybe I can power through it. Ah, oh, poopers. Mm. Come on, power, 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 power. Mm. <laughs> I need to circle more horizontally in such situations. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Woo! I'm just clearing this out for later because I can't actually go through that door, but it is important that I go through that door sometime. Let's just put it that way. Hmm, it's not. Eh, I don't know about that. But yeah, see this door? It's red on, red on the top there. You just kind of... Kind of try and go through the- Oh man! So we need to shut down the generator that, you know, the generator is where the Pikachu is, and then we'll be able to go through that door. Uh, let's take a peek see up this way. Oh, Magneton. Maybe I should grab that. Please don't- Oh, I was gonna say, please don't interfere, Hypno, but there's Hypno interfering. Uh, oh. I would like that. There we go. <laughs> just, just for the sake of healing my Styler. And can you just like be baited out to do yeah one of those things that would be lovely? There we go. <laughs> I have refilled my Poke Stash for capturing in the future. And as for my Styler, because I'm doing all sorts of reckless stuff, I'm at seven out of twenty-seven. This should fill her right up there. <laughs> Woo! There we go. I should actually reset that and re-catch it. Uh, just for the sake of having something for the future. Those Magnetons are pretty nice to have. So, since we released it, it should be back. Let's try not to get the Hypno in with the fray this time. <laughs> Even though it's kind of causing me all sorts of ire here. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, shoot. No. Oh, wait, that was my Hypno. I'm sorry. <laughs> of course. The other Hypno's on the other side. I just got scared when I seen in the second Hypno. <laughs> uh, there we go. Very easy. Woo! Success. Now, for that other route with ye ol Pikachu. We're gonna go flop back over this away, and those are some really big psychic confusion waves there. To, to whack you along, oh shoot, oh shoot. Mr. Mimes, give me all sorts of ire for some reason. 
Uh, hold on, hold on, we got this, yes! <laughs> Just gotta wait for them to pass and you're good to go. Wait, does this have... Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> Just said wanted to see. Wait, do they have anything interesting to say about the boxes and crates and whatever this is? Uh, <laughs> what the heck? Why would that come to mind? Hmm, anyway, Pinsir, can we uh, have a little assistance here? Break out that Pikachu so it can have some rest time. Yeah! There we go! Woo! And it's free! You're free! <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> so, this is where the factor, I guess you could say, turns to dusk. Because, well, yeah, there's a sudden chill in the air, which means. Uh oh, Ghost Pokemon! Oh, no! <laughs> ah, don't worry, it'll be fine. They aren't that difficult. Yeah, so they can abduct your friend Pokemon and kind of move them away so you'll lose them in your party. So try not to let that happen by sort of kind of capturing them along the way. Oh, as ne as need be. <laughs> it's like you see who's going to get that Growlithe. But uh, if you run to it in time, you will be okay. Woo! There we go. <laughs> and I will move on with the Groove on. Um... Can I evade you? Maybe. Maybe. I can. <laughs> now, on the other side of this factory, that has changed as well. Uh, you got some other sorts of Pokemon hanging out here of spookiness, but I'm mainly going to be going over to this door, which is now green, because there's something we need in here, specifically that Houndoom for that trash heap by the save point. And... So, let's see if we- oh, there's good. I was gonna say, let's see if we can get it. We got that without any ire whatsoever. And we might as well get this Pichu as well to recover our Styler in the future. Actually, you could use that now, because they recover five on the Styler, and that's the perfect amount to recover to the max. So, Pichu, 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 thank you. <laughs> I would like that. There we go. Alright, now let's go and check out the... Wait, do you have anything else to say? Oh, okay, I thought you might have something to say with, with it going dark here. But I guess not, you're used to it being dark in the Dusk Factory. But anyway, I'm looking for more Pokemon around here. I think there's something new. I thought there was like a Haunter fluttering around here. No, I guess not. Uh, well... Oh, yep. Alright, I'm taking care of you two. You guys gotta go. Well, you can fade in and out of existence, I don't mind. Just as long as you do so in a nice orderly fashion. <laughs> Woo! Alright. And now I'm gonna have to reorganize. Let's just get rid of the two ghastlies. They still haven't really showed the power of ghosts. Which, ironically, is uh, kind of handy for the other ghost Pokemon. <laughs> So now I'm going to burn up that trash, just melt it down with the power of Houndoom, and clear. Woo! So, 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 with that I'm going to end off the part here, <laughs> as you would expect, because, you know, there's a save point here. So I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part when I continue my exploration of the Dusk Factory.